Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. So one thing that has hit the PlayStation scene over just the last couple of days has been this application written by Lightning Mods, and this is called ETA Hen. So this is an all-in-one homebrew enabler. What does that mean? It means instead of running separate payloads for things such as like FTP or illusions patches, etc., all of that functionality is already combined if you A, either go and use their website or B, use one of their payloads. So I wanted to take a little bit of a deeper look into this with all of you today. So let's go ahead and let's look at the actual features that this has. So it has case stuff. So basically this is going to get you your fake packages, obviously for 4.03 and for 4.50, debug settings, which is a pretty much a standard now, and it will jailbreak IPC call for homebrew apps. Now this is very new and this is an update blocker and it says unmounts the update partition. But one thing to keep in mind is, is that when you reboot, obviously you would be back in an unprotected state and you would need to run this payload again. Now, the next thing is lib hijacker. Also, we see illusions, cheats, and patches. And now we have the FTP server, a K log server, and then finally an elf loader. Now, we just saw an update from Lightning Mods, and ETA 10 has been updated to 1.1b, which is what we're looking at here today, and that there is two new features and bug fixes. For the new features, all servers, FTP, K-Log, etc. will now restart when you change your network and show a notification with the new IP address. And there is what that debug message would look like. So there was a bug fix also included in that and added support for unlocking all types of FPKGs in the library. So that's the lock icon. And then added a feature that will unlock all pre-existing FPKGs in the library. So back over on the page we were looking at, there is obviously a number of different upcoming features. So a hen configuration file, items flow integration would be excellent as well. And so now in order to run this, you have a couple of options. One of them is that you can go to his website right here, which has everything included. You just simply go to that site and the all-in-one payload will run and you are set. Or if you prefer, you can download the bin file and then again, use something like Netcat GUI to send that over to maybe Spectre Dev's host. Now there is two versions. There is one with cheats and another one without cheats. So it did state in here that there was some known issues here for ETA hen with cheats crashes if a homebrew app requests to be jailbroken. So just do keep that in mind if that is something that is important to you. So let's go ahead and switch over to the PS5 and let's give this a shot. Okay, so here I am. I'm on my PS5 4.03 system and there is the URL which goes directly to his host. And so I'm going to go ahead and press go there. Now, what is really nice is, is that it does say right here listening and there is my IP address and there is the port number. I can go ahead and either run ETA hen without cheats or I can run ETA hen. I believe that's what that's supposed to be with cheats. So one thing to note is right there is that version number. So that is version 1.1b, which is what we were just looking at. So let's go ahead and give that a shot with the cheats. Okay, it says added to the queue. Absolutely love the UI. And yes, we're going to go ahead and try Quake yet again. Okay, and well, as you can see, Quake is running perfectly fine. We'll just give a homebrew application a quick spin here. And yep, that one is also running. Well, so that was just a very quick test. Anyway, I hope you got something out of this, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out!